Local gossip, all of it uninteresting. Your order from Barnes' bookshop has arrived, Doctor. Barnes insists on delivering the books to our door, even though we could easily walk to his shop. That's good service. Another letter from Werner. I never reply, but they keep coming. I don't see the Strand. Where is it? Pardon me? I am on the precipice of uncovering a pattern of crime across London spanning many months and involving many men. The missing paper cannot be a coincidence. That's preposterous. My dear fellow, life is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man can invent. Well, life used your newspaper to wipe its posterior, so after that unpleasant discovery this morning, I disposed of it. But in lieu of the Strand, perhaps I can deliver you something equally tantalizing. I have just returned from a patient of mine, Captain Stemwick, who... No, no, that will not do. Grab your coat, Dr. Watson. Let us hope nobody has collected the dustbin. The dustbin is yours for the digging, Mr. Holmes. A cactus spine. If it gets in your skin, it's awfully tricky to remove, and when laced with poison, the perfect assassination tool. You were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. See, Watson? The conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison? You? That's madness. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Sorry, Mr. Holmes. I just sold my last paper. Glassed. Then why are you still here? Boss pays by the hour. No sense in returning early. You're a bright child. I presume you see everything that goes on around here? Nothing gets past me, mister. Then tell me, did you notice anyone suspicious at my door this morning? Hmm, like the man with your newspaper? Precisely. What do you know? I know the value of a shilling. Dr. Watson. Cool, now I can take the day off. Did you see what he was up to? Nah, not really. I saw him approaching your house, but I had a customer. Then there's a loud bang. I ducked down. Not because I was scared, because I wasn't. I had to protect the merchandise, and all I could see was him kneeling at your door. Which way did he go? Not sure. I was distracted by customers. Sorry. Can you describe the man you saw? He was carrying a lot of books. Up to his chin, they were. Never heard of a well-read assassin. Looks can deceive, hence the appeal of disguises. All right, you earned your shilling. That'll be all. Thanks, Mr. Holmes. Maybe I could be your eyes and ears, if you have more shillings.
Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Impressive stature, strong gaze. I think this man deserves a knighthood. Really, Holmes? How can you be so sure? On rare occasions, Watson, it can suffice to trust one's gut. Do you even have enemies that would want to kill you? Okay, perhaps from Cordona, 